One of the unique features of the Great Backyard Bird Count is that it is a citizen science project. So it's non-professional people um, doing citizen work or citizen science work. So they're collecting data. Um, and the huge advantage to this is that we can get data from around the world, something that you could never do professionally. You could never afford to pay enough people um, and to cover the areas. So by um, using the technology that we have available, basically, you know, submitting data to things like eBird through Cornell, uh, we can get a snapshot of sightings from around the world all on, you know, within a short period of time. Brett Ewald and I'm the program director at New Jersey Audubon's Cape May Bird Observatory. This is the 22nd annual um, Great Backyard Bird Count. Um, it's really a collaboration between um, Audubon, Cornell, and Bird Studies Canada. Um, it's been going on, started in 1998, and it's been growing ever since. The Great Backyard Bird Count has been going on for a long time, and it's to study variations in populations of birds over the years, so it's just important to get a picture of what bird populations look like today. I like the science of it. I uh, love the outdoors, the nature, walking, uh, fresh air, the beauty of the birds, and the surprise of what you're going to see, you never know. We saw song sparrow, fox sparrow, white-throated sparrow, black vulture, turkey vulture, red-bellied woodpecker, hooded merganser, bufflehead, mute swan, uh, grackles, red-winged blackbirds, ch Caroline chickadee. Yeah. So it's amazing how many species you can see in a small area on any given day, even in the winter when people think, oh, it's cold and. There's nothing going on outside. There's a lot going on outside. Okay, so in the back of the, the refuge or the center, we had fox sparrow, we had black vulture, we had turkey vulture, we had white throated sparrows, um, some red, uh, red winged blackbirds, and some grackles. It wasn't, and then out on the lake, we had some good stuff too. We had a ring neck duck, we had Hooded mergansers, we had ruddy ducks. So I was fortunate to get into birding, um, which is what bird watching is, is shortened up to, um, at a very early age. Um, so by the time I was a teenager, I, I was already very much into it. My parents um, got me into it as a youngster going out and watching migrating Canada geese. And that led to a real appreciation of migratory bird um, behavior. Um, it's pretty amazing what they can do.